Coming up on the Road Runner Review, time to hit the hard court as the basketball season is finally upon us. Both the men's and women's teams strap it on for non-conference play. Also on the show, it's playoff time for our fall sports seasons and find out if your Road Runners brought home any hardware. All this and more coming up on the Road Runner Review. Welcome to the Roadrunner Review, the magazine show that features Metro State sports and their highlights from the past month. I'm Eric Lansing, but you knew that already. But what about this fine gentleman sitting next to me, Mark Babish? Hey, we kind of brought you out of the director's chair to help us out with the show. You like it better out here? I do. It's a lot brighter out here in the studio than back in the back. I bet. And speaking of being bright, the basketball teams have a bright future ahead of them. First up, our nationally ranked men's team. They are ranked 15th and begin the season at home against Evergreen State from Olympia, Washington. It was a great start for head coach Derek Clark. Metro never trailed in the game and had a lead as big as 38. The team was led by Jonathan Morse's 16 points and 14 rebounds. Reggie Evans tossed in a team high 17 points. The next night, Metro State taking on Concordia and the Cavaliers came out firing, hitting 6 of 11 from long range in the first half. Metro would go into halftime down by three. Second half starts and Metro comes out in a flurry going on an 11-0 run. Metro would stretch the lead to 14 as Corn Johnson gets the bucket and one. The runners hold on to win 82-76. Really, since you're down three, what did Coach have to say to you guys at halftime? Anything uh, stand out? You didn't really have to say much. It's just the guys getting on each other and just talking about, let's pick it up, guys. Let's pick it up. Let's go. You know how we're supposed to play when we're at home court. Uh, I don't know. That's a works in progress there. You know, uh, we don't need to panic when we're down. One is, you know, you got to work through every possession. If you're not willing to play possession by possession basketball, then you're not going to have a very good year. Okay. And was there anything particular you said to your team at half? Anything stand out? Anything? Well, I told them we got to get back and guard in transition. You know, we were, we were really bad in transition tonight, and we gave them opportunities. You know, they were on the rim in transition, and I said, calm down. You know, we don't need to get rattled, but, men, we got to ratchet up our defensive transition. That's the best I can give you. The men's team jumped four spots to 11th in the national polls, but Metro couldn't make it 3-0 in the standings after falling 71-55 to Central Washington. They just shot 38% from the floor, and Reggie Evans, who only scored eight points, failed to reach double figures for only the fourth time in the past two years. But the losing streak would end at one as the runners squeaked out a five-point win over Northwest Nazarene. Now it's the women's turn, and they started the season on the road with their new head coach in Tanya Javi. They got win number one against Montana State Billings, edging the Yellow Jackets 49-46. to Senior Cassandra Bratton led the way with 10 points and 8 rebounds in her first game back with Metro. She hit a key free throw down the stretch to help the runners escape with the win. Win number two came a little easier as Metro took down Rocky Mountain 67-49. to Newcomer Tawny Drexler scored a game-high 16 points and added 9 boards in the win. So the 2-0 Roadrunners traveled back home to Denver for the Thanksgiving Classic. They started off their home schedule with a 58-51 win over Nova Southeastern at the Auraria Event Center. The runners dominated the boards, out-rebounding the Sharks 54-27, and the senior Drexler posted her first double-double of the year, scoring 13 points and grabbing 11 rebounds. The runners looking to start 4-0 against Simon Fraser. Metro's D was daunting, holding the clan to only 22% shooting. Metro, on the other hand, was shooting lights out, hitting on 50% of their shots. The preseason Defensive Player of the Year, Kristen Valencia, had her offensive shoes on, scoring 12 points and grabbing 7 boards. Metro cruises to the 73-62 win. 
Yeah, um, our game plan was just come in and play our defense because we've been holding teams under their usual. So we just knew if we came in and played our team defense, we would get it. Well, we noticed in film that they like to put the ball on the floor quite a bit. So we wanted to limit their penetration and then keep the ball out of eight's hands or make her become a jump shooter. So we were able to do that really well, I thought. I think they scored over half their points from the free throw line in that first half. We talked to them about keeping them off the line in, in that second half. We were able to do that. They shot a little bit better, but I still think we were able to contain them. We never, you know, I don't think you ever stop anybody trying to contain them. So we talk a lot about containment and, you know, trying to choke off that penetration. So we were able to do that and it was nice to see the offense click. So. So we are only a few weeks into the basketball season and both teams came out with successful results from their non-conference schedules. But now it is time for our Roadrunners to start our MAC play as both our teams are looking to make repeat appearances in the conference tournaments. Here is the home conference schedule for your men's team and it's brought to you by the Student Auxiliary Services. And with Christmas right around the corner, don't forget those Metro State fans on your list by visiting the Campus Bookstore. The men will start their RMAC title defense with home games against Kearney and then Shattern State. What about the women's side, Mark? Well, Eric, for the women, it's the same days, same teams, but different times as all home games start at 5 p.m. for Javi and the Bunch. Just make sure you have Regis marked on your calendar as it's always a great game when those two teams go at it. Plus, December 10th, red out last game ever versus Nebraska Kearney as an RMAC conference opponent. Still ahead on the show, the fall sports playoffs are still to come, so grab a snack and come on back. 